This video is to show how to create a print from the sketch that we made originally of the horses. And we're going to be creating these prints on this mylar that will um, give us a good registration, meaning it will help us to line up our shapes really well so that they look like our sketch. So as right now, it says ink side over here, but it's backwards. So I want to make sure that I can read ink side the correct way before I go to print. This is really important so that your print looks like it's the right direction. So once I have that, I'm now going to make sure that I have my shapes handy. And I'm going to choose one shape that I'm going to work on today. And I'm going to choose the little foal, this little baby horse. And the baby horse, I'm going to make him black. And I want to make sure before I started to get my ink out or anything that I have pieces of paper ready. My printing paper should already have a T mark and a bar mark on it on the back, the T on the top, the bar on the bottom, which should match up to the T and the bar on my, on my plexi. So I just want to make sure it lines up well, it's right inside the box, and I'm going to tape it down. So once I see that it's lined up correctly, and then I'm going to peel it back and let it kind of hang out there. Then I want to make sure that my um, foal is flipped the correct way. It should, not, it should not say no ink when you roll its ink on it. It should line up just like that. Before I put him down, I'm going to wipe my plexi with a wet paper towel, make sure my hands are clean so that I don't end up getting ink on my print where I don't want it. Now I'm ready. So this is the messy part. So I'm going to take my ink, put a little on my little plexi for rolling out the ink. And when doing this, you want to try to keep your ink within the lines of the plexi so you don't get it all over everywhere. Hold it with one, one or two fingers, just keep it from sliding around on you. Then you can roll right onto your shape. It's a good idea to, to hold down a little part of the shape if you can, so that you're not going to get a lot of ink on the back of the shape if you accidentally pick it up and move it. Okay, so now I can see that I have ink on my fingers. So I'm going to grab my paper towel again and just clean off my fingers a little bit so I don't get it on my paper. Then I'll take my baby horse. I'm going to place it down on the, on the plexi carefully. I need to shift him around, I will. And then, yep, I got some ink on my plexi again, so I'm going to wipe that off. Okay, so now I'm ready to register my little foal. Papa Leo, please call extension 1041. So now I'm going to just make sure he's kind of pressed down. And you can use your Baron. And you'll start to see the shape a little bit through the paper. You don't want to be tearing the paper or anything, but you'll start to see that the ink is getting picked up on the other side. The longer you do this, the better. You can use your finger too, if you want. And every once in a while, I just want to make sure that your paper has not shifted. Want to make sure you get all the way onto the corners. And then when you feel like you've gotten it, you can lift it up and there's your little print. So at this point, I would want to take my paper off carefully and put it on a drying rack or somewhere else that's safe for it to dry. Now to keep things simple, it's a good idea to do the same shape all at once with all of your prints so you don't have to change colors too much. So this time I'm going to show how to create a print that already has some shapes on it. We're going to start out the same way. I'm just going to wipe off my plexi. 
and line up my T and my bar, but my T seems to have been ripped off. So I'll put another one there. So I'm to make sure those line up. This one seems like it might be a little off, but I'll try to get it as close as possible. Put a little tape down, peel it back. Okay, so now I'm going to roll the ink on to the baby horse again. You may not need more ink, but if you think you might, just add a little bit at a time. If you find that you're getting a lot of mess on your area where you're printing, just grab another clean piece of paper and replace the piece of newsprint underneath where you're working. So again, I'm going to wipe my hands off, wipe my plexi, make sure there's no extra ink that I don't want, make sure it's lined up. And then I'm going to print. Hopefully it will line up. Let's we'll see. So I'm going to start by just pressing down a little with my hand, then I can use the Baron. You can already see that this one's a little bit off and it's not lining up perfectly which is why it's so important to make sure that your T and your bar are in the right place on your paper and on your plexi. So I can see there's a little space between the baby horse's head and the mom horse. So in the future, I'm going to make sure that my paper is a little bit more exact. So I keep going until I had shapes on all the prints that I want to make and for um, the project that we're doing, it's four. So I'll do two more pieces of paper and make sure they're all drying. and then several hours or another day later, I'll do my other shapes the same way until all of my shapes are printed. Then we can crop it and mat it and make it look pretty, but um, that's pretty much it.